Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead box and bag. In case you're interested in these two subscriptions, I'm going to link them down below in the description bar. So let's go ahead, open this up, and see what our color combos are. Okay, first we got the bag. Wow, oh my gosh. I don't know if we've ever got a pink box like this. I would have to look back through my pictures, but it's kind of hard to find pink beads. There's a few colors that I feel like they're really hard to find. Peach is really hard to find. I feel like yellow is kind of hard to find. Orange. Like if you go down to uh, Michael's and you look at the in the aisle, you'll notice there's a ton of blue beads, a ton of black right but you don't really see anything peach you don't really see a lot of pinks there's some colors that are just hard to find so let's open this up it looks like it's going to be amazing I'll get one in there this is september's bag and i'm going to go over all of it with you wow that one's amazing. I've never seen that one. That is absolutely gorgeous. This one's amazing. I don't know if I've seen that one. That might be amethyst. Light amethyst. Okay. These are gorgeous. I've never seen that one. That one's beautiful. I wonder if it's dyed. Four and then three. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. Okay first one light amethyst oh it is it's light amethyst so there's um regular amethyst and there's light there's also light teal which I recommend you check light teal check fire polish beads out because they are gorgeous okay so it's a very pretty strand beautiful and then jet matte pink <gasps> oh my gosh I believe that's this and the reason why is because the bead is so dark. It must actually be black and then they put a pink coating over it. Jet means black. That's pretty. I've never seen this one before. It's very pretty. It's between like pink and purple. It actually looks like it's a little dusty. Which kind of affects how it looks. There, maybe that it looks better. It's very pretty. Okay, and then I'm dying to know what this one's gonna be. Crystal Ruby Luster or Crystal Purple Luster. Violet Fuchsia. So I think Crystal Ruby Gold Luster or Crystal Purple Luster. Did I say Crystal? Crystal? <laughs> I think. This is Crystal Purple Luster. Because if it was Gold Luster, it would actually have gold color to it. And I don't have that. I might have something like this. In a bigger size. I, I don't even know if it would be in this kind of bead. It might be in a different kind of check bead. But that is just gorgeous if you look really close at it it kind of looks like snakeskin pattern there it's really pretty that's beautiful I would like to reorder that okay now I might have this in my stash or something like it violet fuchsia so it's it's both purple and pink I know I have this in my stash in red and green and clear and it makes me think of salsa and I have it in green and blue, purple and blue, like this comes in different colors. And it's actually a crystal clear bead and they spray it um, with two other colors and that's how you get this look. What in the world is the cat doing? This area here is really um, bright. Actually kind of looks red. Okay, so all four of these are incredible. 
Look at that. They are beautiful. I really love this one though. I would like to get a whole bunch of those. And that color again is called Crystal Purple Luster. But there's also another one that one of you probably have got. It's called Crystal Ruby Gold Luster. So that one will have a more gold, like a, a I usually see more bronze luster beads, but anyways. Moving on, four millimeter. First one is Violet Fuchsia or Matte Violet. So I got Violet Fuchsia. It actually does look like there are some reddish, like the dye is really strong in some areas, like here and here and down here. And these beads here are exactly the same. One is just a three millimeter and the other one is four. So I like it when I get the same color in both sizes. Yeah, and remember a while back, or should I say a long time back, I did a um, dollar bead box, dollar bead bag project with three and four millimeter check fire polish beads. I'll put a picture up now. Next thing is Deep Rose Luster or Raspberry Copper. Hmm, I don't know about that. Let's see, after that is Alabaster White. That will definitely be this. In Opaque Pink. I think that might be this. Which, it's not actually opaque, but sometimes they do it like this. Deep Rose Luster or Raspberry Copper. Yeah, I don't know about this. So Violet Fuchsia, that was, you know, this one here. We have two of those, so I definitely know that's that. Or Matte Violet Fuchsia. We don't have any matte beads, so it's not that. Deep Rose Luster. Or Raspberry Copper. We don't, we don't have rat copper at all. So this might be Deep Rose Luster, but I really don't think it is. Because this has the silver specks on it. This is called um, rain. They usually call it rain. When you see a bead with silver little speckles on it. It's called rain and it's pink. This bead is dyed and then it has the silver rain on top. So I, I don't think the name matches. But it's a pretty bead. And I have actually got this in melons. Same color in melons. Okay, after that is alabaster white. Pretty white bead. And this is opaque. This color's all the way through. Now this here is saying opaque pink, but it's actually not. I've seen op opaque pink beads. This bead is actually this bead right here. It's a, This pink bead is this bead here with a pink dye, I think, over top. Do you see how when you look at the bead, it is blotchy looking? I think it might be dyed. It's usually how you could tell. And if you look inside the hole of the bead, it should be completely white inside. But anyways, all of those are beautiful and I'm really excited to look in the um, box because those are pretty pink colors. Okay, I'm going to move this to the back there and we're going to go if you want, you can stop and read this. Oh my gosh, look what we got. The melon beads that I was talking about. Okay. That's pretty. I think I've got this before. I don't know if I got it in that color. Or if I got it in maybe blue. We have pearls. Preciosa pearls. Those are gorgeous. These are beautiful. Can never have too many flowers. Oh, my bags are upside down. I guess because I dumped it out. Oh my gosh! Those are huge and beautiful. I have this flower, but I want to say mine are smaller. That's a bigger version. Button beads, those are precious. 
This is what I'm just talking about. That's cute. That's a Celtic charm. It's double sided. Looks like it can be used in a bracelet. Those are trucks, purple trucks. These are um, bicones. Those are a special check bicone. Okay, squishy beads, leaves. Five millimeter fire polish. And oh my gosh, those are new. Never got those. I've never seen that color. These are um, Hawaiian flowers. They're pretty expensive. The Hawaiian flower beads. The table cut ones are even more. I swear it's like $2 a bead for that little bead right there. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is my uh, Czech Q bead. I love it so much. It's amazing quality. It's perfectly square. Great for weaving. It's better than Miyuki cubes. Here's a purple pinch. And then we got this gorgeous very decorative check bead here I have not seen this shape before but that is stunning I really like that okay and then these are jump cut rondelles okay what a beautiful mix okay I gotta get more organized okay let's see let's see first strand is Check glass Art Deco Oval. <gasps> this? Yes, it is very Art Deco looking. Beautiful. I like that there's six on here. That's a very nice number. And reminder, when you go to Dollar Bead Box, you can rebuy these beads for a dollar each. We have to be a member. Okay. After that is 3 by 5 millimeter glass gem cut rondel amethyst. Beautiful. I've used this bead a lot. I've actually used this exact color, I think, in a lariat that I did for a tutorial for the dollar bead box. I'll put a picture up. That was a really cool project. Okay, those beads are awesome, perfect for weaving with. I do try to save those for weaving with because they're so perfectly made. I would rather weave with them than um, Chinese crystal because they're sharp and the crystal does, will cut your thread eventually. After that is four millimeter check glass cube. So that's this here. And how many is on here? 35 pieces. Jet full, coat silver or Lavender Travertine. Oh, I think I know what that looks like. That's beautiful. The Lavender Travertine. That's a very beautiful color. But I got the Jet Full Coat Silver. So, Jet means black. So, this piece actually black. With silver all over it. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I thought it was usually a clear bead. Okay. I guess the only way to know is to break the bead and find out. After that... It's 3 by 5 millimeter check glass pinch bead, matte crystal, or light amethyst. I got light amethyst. It's very pretty. Um, it looks darker. This here is light amethyst. It is just a little bit darker. It's very nice. Next thing is 4 millimeter check glass truck, light amethyst. Okay, so that's this here. I do not have this in my stash. I have, um, I think the dark amethyst. Actually, I don't know. I would have to check. Those are pretty. And again, this is the same color, light amethyst. These are more alike. Actually, those look exactly the same. Okay, and then there's this. So we got these three strands in light amethyst. And the drug is my fave. It's beautiful. Okay, and this is the last strand. 10 millimeter. Holy cow. I didn't know they were that big. Check glass sunset flower. Dark pink. 18 pieces. So this bead, if you put it up to the light, it's actually clear. And they put patina over the entire bead. So it's like a spray, I guess. There are a lot of beads in here. This is a very nice 
um, strand. I've seen other places sell half of the beads here for like three times the amount. Yeah, so that's a good deal for that. Okay, those are all the strands. I'm going to bring these down and mix them together. And um, these strands get stuck so bad on this bead mat thing that I have. But this here is the only thing I have found that stays stationary and doesn't slide around on my desk. So that's why I always want to use this as my background. Because everything else I have used slides around. Okay. Next thing is additional items. 14 millimeter check glass button bead. White and pink wash. Okay, I saw that. There it is. I don't know if I've ever got a button bead in this color before, but I have used this bead several times in tutorials. It's a gorgeous bead. It's very decorative. These come in so many colors. They're stunning. Oops. Okay. After that, is 11 millimeter check glass floral square white with pink or crystal with pink four pieces oh so the other one would look like this here this color okay this pink's actually a little bit brighter so it looks metallic so I got the clear one but there's also a white version with pink wash it's 11 millimeters I swear this is bigger than the ones I have. So cute. The hole is going right here in the middle. I kind of wish the hole went in this direction. Because that would make it fun to weave with. Those are precious. They're really cute. Um, I think I need a different background. Right here. Okay. That's what they look like. They're really nice. After that, five by seven millimeter check glass squishy saucer. That's this bead here. So this bead is oval shaped. It's very actually very unusual bead. And when I say oval, I don't mean like from this angle. I mean, from this angle, from the hole, it is oval shaped. It's really, actually kind of a weird bead. I have not used it for weaving with, but I want to try. I think it would be challenging. They're pretty neat. Okay. 16 by 20 millimeter pewter leaf. Oh. Did I just recently get something like this? I might have in a different box. Or something similar. This is really um, curved though. It's not flat. It is a dimensional leaf. It's really cute. These would be awesome in the earrings, I have to say. Yeah, look at the bat. See, you can really see the shape of it. It's not flat at all. Those are cute. Okay. After that, 8mm check glass melon. This. Now, in the past, when I got this melon bead, I made a necklace with it. I got it in this color. But I also have got this melon bead in a different color. I think I got it with purple, and this has a silver rain on it. But I think I've got it in purple with um, copper rain, and I made the mermaid watch bracelet. I'll put a picture of that up. Okay, so these are really cool. And again, this is the same bead as this here. Same color, I mean. Same finish. Okay.
after that. Fourteen millimeter check glass silver silver star of Ishtar rose luster pink wash. That's this bead here. This bead is awesome. I really like it a lot. It's like the same size as the button bead. I've never seen these together, but they pretty much look the same way. What does it say? It is. Okay, button bead up on the top is 14, so they are the same size. 14 and 14. Star of Ishtar. So I've got this bead in the past in orange with, um, burnt orange. With pink wash. It's really pretty. I don't know what the base color of this bead is, but I could see it's different. It could actually be orange. Yeah, that's pretty. And then 16 by 21 millimeter check glass oval flower white with pink wash. One piece. Oh, this here. This would be awesome in the um, Creative Dreams bracelet that I made. Yeah, actually there's several things here that would look awesome in that bracelet. That's very pretty. And these here match it so well. So if you wanted, there's several beads here that you could put together to remake that bracelet. These here would also work. But I think I like these better. Yeah. These would also look good. So I'll put up a picture of the tutorial I'm talking about. And if you want to go see that, all you have to do is put the title in on YouTube that you saw in the picture and the video will pop up. And um, basically, I just took some beautiful focal, focal looking uh, check beads, and I did macrame on the side, and added more beads, and it just made a really awesome design. So, I think this is a good box to recreate that. Okay, I want to open these. What's next? 5 millimeter. Check for a polish. Crystal. 25 pieces. I will need my scooper. This is, um, 5 millimeter. Check this inside. I just read it with 5 millimeter. Okay, this is what I was looking at earlier. I feel like it's really hard to see the beads in this tray when they're clear and white. But, there they are. And you know what I want to do with these really bad? I have colored cord now. And I want to get a whole bunch of clear fire polish beads because I have them in AB and also this clear. And I want to string them onto the colored cord and I want to knot in between them. So I have turquoise cord now, purple, pink, um, let me see the hole. You could do it with um, Eslon cord if you have that. But I would like to knot in between them and make a rosary. I have a rosary tutorial. I'll put a picture up now. If you want, you can go and watch that. But I think an awesome thing to do with the clear beads like this, because I feel like I have a lot of clear beads in my sash, is to use some colored cord and uh, do a project, a knotting project. It doesn't have to be a rosary. Two, you can also do knotting like you're doing pearls and then have a, a nice clasp. So that's something I want to do. After that is 14 millimeter. Check glass hibiscus flower, white with pink, two pieces. So this bead's really interesting because it's not all white. This bead is actually pink. You gotta put it up to your light. It's actually pink and white mixed together. And you know what? I thought it was gonna be transparent and it's not. It's actually opaque. At least it looks opaque. So see the pink on the sides? That's part of the glass. The pink is in the glass and then there is the pink patina that's on top in the little crevices. But those are just precious. I love those. 
and those would look nice in that Creative Dreams bracelet. Okay. After that, 24 by 19 millimeter Pewter Knot Charm. What's this? This is awesome. I've gotten a few Celtic um, charms in the past from the Dollar Bead Box in different shapes, different kinds of knots. And every time I get these little charms, they are really nice quality. They're super thick. They have an awesome bale. It's double sided. I don't think I received this one yet. But um, this would be awesome in a bracelet, like a knotted bracelet. Yeah, I think that is so beautiful. Of course you can do it in a necklace too, but whenever I get double sided charms, I'm so tempted to make a bracelet with it. Next thing is 4mm check glass saucer amethyst, 25 pieces. Oh, that's what this piece called. So it's shaped like a bicone, but it's not faceted. It's a totally smooth looking bead. This would be amazing for weaving though because of its shape. Okay. Yeah, look at how crazy smooth. They're just like smooth all the way around, no facets. And how many are there? 25. Yeah, these would not cut your thread because they have smooth holes and uh, they would just be awesome beads to weave with. Okay, let's go over these unusual pearls here. 5 by 7 mi millimeter check glass Baruch pearl white 12 pieces. Oh boy. I think we might have got these in cream before, but these are bright white. See the little texture on it? It's cute. They're barrel shaped. Actually, it's kind of a rectangle in it. It's actually flat here and flat here. Yeah. Those are cute. Okay, I need to um, sort my pearls right now. Alrighty, so that is everything. I feel like that went fast. I don't know how long I have gone into this, but it seems like it went fast. This box is awesome. I don't remember in the past if we've ever got a pink box, but there are some beautiful beads here. I really love this strand. That's gorgeous. So pretty. There are some really nice strands here. Oh, I like they did. I like that they did a uh, some purple with the pink very pretty so this is it this box was awesome oh last month's box I don't know if you guys saw last month but last month was crazy mind-blowing I will put a picture up of the last This is it. I'm going to link the dollar bead bag and the dollar bead box down there below in the description bar in case you want to go and get it. And please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and X. Thanks for watching.